divisional matchups on this final day of the regular season and we've got a compelling one in store here as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Washington Commanders. Now the kicker Brandon McManus about ready to get us started and we are underway from FedEx Field and we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. tackle made at the 35-yard line. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going, runs like that. Helm. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed, but they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he works free. A solid stiff arm. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. 25 yards the pick up there and also a first down. Now Hurts changing up the play. 63, 63, 63. They'll run it again with Barkley. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Now they'll try to take advantage of that offsides call. Here's first and five. Hurts. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. Dorrance Armstrong. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. The pitch goes to Barkley. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. Now this defense for the Commanders, they were very strong last week in that win over Cleveland. And that's not the half of it. They forced seven turnovers in that game, and I know we always talk about turnovers coming in bunches once you force the first one, but seven? That seems almost impossible, but we watched it happen. Hurt sets up to throw it. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 22-yard line. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. And now an audible here into something else. Play action. Here's Hurts. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. And their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Brandon, watching their tape from last week, I saw plenty of plays that we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time out, too. Let me 
Here's Hurts to throw. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great play there with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Eagles are on the board first here this afternoon. Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Ready! They'll start on the ground here on first down. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. These two teams, you might recall, met up back in September in week three. And it was Washington winning on the road, so they're looking to finish off the sweep here at FedEx Field. Second and five. Escaping the pressure right. Throws right side, and that's complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. That goes for a gain of 31. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. You look at this Eagle defense. They were very good last week in the win over the Saints. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, do you now decide that I can't throw the ball against this team and try and run it like crazy? Or do you challenge them? This is going to be fun. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Against a team coming off a win just as your team did the previous week, you talk about being physical all game long. Sometimes being physical is just being on the spot and helping force the incompletion. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Back to throw here. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. at the line this Philly offense set to go well certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time how Charles remember they had the short field they took it in the end zone now this is going to have to be a longer more sustained drive if they want to get points yeah a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field and you're exactly right about that but now backed up a little bit what's that old expression we love to use time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again Ball on the 27. Here's second down and a yard. Throwing his hurts. And his throw is incomplete. Had no command that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. And Hurt's going to move him around. Hurt 
Wentz with a quick throw complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Second and six. He'll drop to throw. This is Smith to the ground. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 38-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. And now they'll shift things around. 63, 63, 63. On first and ten, it's Hurts. That's to the sideline and incomplete. You talk about this Washington defense. They were very strong last week in that win over Cleveland. They forced seven turnovers. How many? Seven. Seven. I mean, think about seven. that number now. That's supposed to be a lucky number, right? <laughs> lucky for one side, unlucky for the other. Second down, here's Hurts. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Smith catches left side. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And they run the option here on first and ten. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, 26 yards, and they are able to add on to their advantage. Elliott good on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Commanders take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. Here we go, here we go. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Their deficit is 11, 14 to 3, and needing to get something going here as they come up on first and 10. Evades the tackler and now some space. That one good for 33 and a first. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. 
And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. 63 yards rushing for him now as his fine rookie season continues. They've done a pretty good job containing him up until this drive and until that run, there was no containing him at all. Yeah, you're right about that. He finally popped free. But we didn't have to be in their practice sessions. We didn't have to be in their meeting rooms. They planned for a run like that to happen, maybe a couple of them. But what did they tell their guys all week? You know what they said. Move on to the next play. That one just happened. Let it go. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. That is caught at the seven. And the commanders are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. And that's an important completion right there because that's going to do it. With that last pass, he eclipses Peyton Manning's all-time mark of 5,477 pass yards in a single season. I think the engravers, they can get the MVP trophy ready. This has been a year for the ages as he stands alone in single season passing. He pitches it. And he's in. Touchdown, Commanders. A great effort there with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Commanders have cut it back within a score. McManus's point after is good, and that makes it a 14-10 ball game. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because... Every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. From the 22, here's second and eight. They'll set up a throw. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. On the draw, this is Barkley. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. From the 42-yard line, here's second down and five. Now Hurts going to shift him around a bit. Second and five now. Hurts. Buying time to his left. And Hurts able to show off some of that elusiveness as he slides to the ground there and in the process picks up the first down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. He'll look to throw. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Deron Payne. 
busting through to get him for a loss of six. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. And now they'll audible to something else. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A minute 55 left to go in the first half of play. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Up the middle with Barkley. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. 70 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Throw left side complete. That's Brown. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. teammates to be involved as well. So second and goal and standing by himself in the backfield, Barkley. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. now hoping to make up for that pick six looking here for Smith downfield and that will be incomplete would have been a big hitter if they had connected instead it's second down and they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half Oh, 
They'll throw now on the final play. He's going deep for Brown. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. A field goal the difference. 17-14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. With a fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. set and ready for this next drive the Washington offense ready. they'll start this drive out on the ground they'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31 I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry and they kept the positive momentum going there another nice run by him He'll come up now, second and four from the 31. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. 85 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. Come on, come on. Hey. Now they'll change things around before the snap. And he'll run on the inside handoff. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Here's a quick throw out left. That's caught. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 35. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him the football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you see. he gets lost in the traffic a little bit but get him out in the open field into some space that plays to his strengths the best and keeps Let's him out now. of it where all the big boys are you know make him make someone miss in the open field hurt, hurt. Hurt, hurt. Hurt. on third down they're going to run for it here and he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23 
Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he's able to work three for about six down to the 18. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. A great play there. His 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Commanders take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point from McManus is good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side, so now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. Now Hurts looking to change the play. They'll look to throw now on first down. And this will be caught at the 30. Touchdown, Eagles. A big play there. 64 yards. And the Eagles are back within a score. Elliott on for the extra point. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here we go, here the we Washington go. offense at the line and ready to roll. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Ready, ready. And they'll keep leaning on the running game, back to the ground. And this is going to be a commander's first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And some nifty running here as they take this across midfield and down to the 47. 139 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. No doubt about it. Really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, 
They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. From the 46, here's the second and nine. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 45-yard line. 13 yards there at a Washington first. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Here we go. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, he'll hand this off. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Hands it off out of the gun. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. They'll drop the throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. They're going to look to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Commanders went for it, but they cannot pick up the first. And the Eagles' defense able to hold. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. A big opportunity to tie it with three or take the lead with a touchdown. Their defense definitely did their part with that pivotal fourth down stop. They begin with a run by Barkley. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. A first down carry for Barkley. And he carries this one past the midfield stripe and into commander territory. 
A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. From just shy of midfield, Hurts will get this out to Barkley complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 39. It's a 10-yard pickup, and that's enough to move the chains. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Barkley inside handoff, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Now Hurts changing up the play. They'll go to Barkley again. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Back-to-back four-yard runs. Now look, hey, if they just do that all the way downfield, ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. They'll send a receiver in motion left. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. He loses four, and it brings up four. The kick by Elliott is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the floor of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. Ready. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington go, go, go. offense. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Isaiah Foskey there on the tackle. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Hey, hey, check that, check that. Smash, smash. Getting down to the good stuff, all tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Second and six Hawk coming 70, up. Hawk 70. He pitches it out. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38 yard line. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Ready. On play action, they'll throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. They come up now on second and two. Following the penalty, they'll go back to the run game. And for
for one of the few times here today. This run's not going to go anywhere. Short gain, short gain last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely. This defense, they're saying go right ahead with those. Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They need two. Here's third down. timeouts all three timeouts still at their disposal here's first and ten now and they'll run on the inside handoff and he's going to get this one down near the 45 yard line they're making steady progress but i see your face you're worried about that clock i'm worried about the clock and at some point you have to have a splash play in there as well they'll come up now second and nine from the gun they'll try to run it this has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive will take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Now Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Going back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. A three-yard loss on the play. It's fourth down. So this thing rests on the shoulders of Brandon McManus. This to almost certainly win the football game. That's running out of steam and it won't get there. He left it just short, no good, and a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. Boy, that's a big time let down there. You work yourself in position to win the game, but the kick winds up no good. And now you've got to regroup as a team, get the energy back up, and get ready for overtime. And make sure you pump him up, too. He may be needed to try and win it again later. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And he's got it inside the 10. And he's in for the touchdown. And in the final seconds, forget overtime. They've just likely won this thing in regulation. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through all the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Elliott Good with a PAT, and they will take a seven-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. On the ready. They'll come up first and ten here. Ready, ready. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. That's caught inside the 20. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. 
Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So for Philadelphia, the win here in Week 18 gives them a pivotal 11th win on the year, running their final mark to 11-6. And, and now they'll await the final seeding for the playoffs ahead.